This video is sponsored by EA and today we're looking specifically at the Assault class, what perks it comes with and how you're going to want to play it when Season 16 or Revelry launches. The new Assault class in Apex Legends Revelry is the perfect choice for people who want to spend less time looting and more time shooting. Assault Legends include Maggie, Ash, Bangalore, Revenant and Fuse. All five of these legends will get access to two new Assault perks once the new season launches, the first of which is probably my favorite. There are new red tier supply bins that similarly to how lifelines or passive works will open up a secret compartment when an assault legend interacts with it. The difference is the loot inside. You'll get attachments, but these attachments are only going to be high level attachment upgrades to you and your team's current loadout. From my experience, I almost always got a gold attachment. The great thing is these new bins will appear on the map. So if you're playing an Assault Legend, you can choose to loot from them as you rotate through the map, and this ensures you and your entire team are kitted up. The second perk for Assault Class allows you to have more ammo per inventory slot. You'll get one extra slot per stack. So instead of 60 light ammo per slot, you'll get 80, and instead of 16 shotgun ammo, you'll get 24. The best tips I can give to those who will play the new Assault Class is to make use of your new inventory space. You don't need to go overboard with ammo, but instead you can take the same amount of ammo and have more space for even more grenades or meds for your team. Pinging the assault supply bins will help encourage your team to go visit them too, and this could help you and them get high tier loot. And it's best to do this earlier in the game before you've already got everything upgraded. And if you're ever in need of a magazine upgrade, a new scope, or any other attachment late game, you can quickly check the map then to find the nearest assault supply bins. Now that's that's it for the basics of the Assault class. Now you may be wondering how does this class tie into the rest of gameplay because these small perks may seem small on the surface but when you combine them with other perks and the other meta changes it really will change the flow of gameplay and you're going to need to think about which legends you're playing, which legends your friends are playing, especially if you care about ranked, right? We all know we've just had a very strong Horizon Sia meta, and that's because of their abilities and how they synergize well in the current ranked state, right? But with new perks across all legends, things are going to change. Assault class legends give you a lot of flexibility to free up inventory space so that you have more space for meds and nades and that's super useful but this kind of perk is only really useful if you have it one time right if you have three assault legends you're going to have way too much ammo and lose out on a lot more utility and you only need one assault legend per squad to be able to open up those bins so what other classes could go well with an assault legend let's say you take bangalore or mad maggie into rank well the first thing you'd probably want a support legend a support legend is going to allow you to make sure you can get respawn banners if you need to support legends can craft those it also gives you even more loot flexibility if you have some inventory space free because of the assault class perk related to getting more ammo into your inventory slots that frees up some space for you to hold meds for your team and the new support supply bins which used to be lifeline's old perk now have very high tier loot so you're mostly just going to get shield bats in phoenix kits and if you could carry an extra stack of those around for your teammates, that's going to help a lot. Then finally, it's up to you if you want to go for the Recon Legend, which would give you some information about player locations. Or you could go the Control route, right? You could get a Controller Legend and still get information about the next ring. Whichever team composition you choose really is up to you, and you're going to want to experiment with it with your friends. But overall, I think that's part of the fun. And I'm really excited to see what kind of class compositions come out ahead. What do you think? Let me know. Cheerio!